Hey gang! Have you ever noticed that if you are playing a game on Steam, you may get a trading card or two while playing that game? And do you also know what the heck you can do with that card? Uh, if not, you are like I was a month ago and like a lot of people I've talked to, so I thought I'd make a quick video on what you can do with trading cards in Steam. Just uh, if you're curious, keep watching. If you already know what's going on, you're not going to get anything out of this video probably. But uh, I feel like Steam doesn't really explain what to do with that stuff and I kind of just stumbled across it myself. So I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys a little bit of what you can do. So I'm here on my profile. Uh, to get to your inventory where you can find the cards that you've earned, you can go to like here and then go down and click inventory. And this is where you will see, I guess you can filter it, I just have all my Steam items right now. If people have gifted you games, they'll show up here. If you have coupons, they'll show up here. And then also, the cards. Now you will earn card drops uh, as you play games, if, if they have that enabled. A lot of games don't have trading cards enabled, it's kind of... I think up to the company if they want to support that or not. But uh, you'll get these cards in here, and it's like, okay, great, I have trading cards, now what? Well, if you click on them, you can either sell them like that, and you can see like what they're going for in general uh, in the marketplace, the Steam marketplace, uh, and you can also click View Bad Progress. So let me show you that. You click there, and then you'll see you have, so like for Counter-Strike Global Offensive here, I have four out of five cards. Um, well, what does that mean? Uh, basically, when you have a full set of cards, you can craft them into a badge. And a badge is something you can show off on your profile, and it also earns you 100 experience, which will go towards your Steam level. And uh, that is very important if you want to get into trading cards and crafting badges and stuff like that. So as you can see here, I have the level 1 badge. I earned it then and earned me 100 experience. And then the next badge I will get if I craft another set is the Brass Recruit. Now up here, it says one card drops remaining. So card drops are what you get uh, while you are playing the game. Once you purchase it, you'll have a certain number of card drops for those free cards that you'll get as you play. And if you click here, how do I earn card drops? So you can see uh, I had three card drops available by purchasing the game and I've received two of them while playing. And then, oh, what is this? As I play, oh yeah, for some games like this or I think Dota, as you purchase things in game, you earn more card drops. That's not normal. Uh, most games don't have that option because most games you don't really have an in-game marketplace kind of thing, but stuff for, like CSGO and Dota, Dota 2 have that. But uh, basically, once you use up your built-in card drops for most games, the only way to get more cards for that game is by trading or purchasing the cards outright or by getting a booster pack. Uh, and then booster packs, I think, is that explained here? Yeah, once you've received all your card drops, you become eligible for a booster pack containing three additional cards. They're granted randomly to eligible users. Uh, so once you have used up your card drops, then you become eligible and you have to sign in to Steam every once in a while to stay eligible. And the Steam level that you have plays directly into that, and we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more later. So let me show you what you can do here. So I have four out of five cards of this of this set, like we mentioned before, I'm missing the SWAT card. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see all of your friends that have this card. And you can, directly from here, you can click to send them a message, or you can offer a trade with them. So just to show you, I'll, I'll click on Bgret here. Uh, this is what pops up when you want to trade. So this is the item of his that you want, and you can drag and drop an item of yours, whether it's a card or a coupon, pretty much anything that's tradable will show up here and you can scroll to other pages. And then when you have something you want to do, you click there to confirm and then you click there to make offer and they will get uh, a notification that there is an offer waiting for them. But I don't want to make that offer. You can also click visit trade forum and this will take you directly to the forums for that game uh, with people that are looking to trade stuff. So they'll say like, have this, want that. 
Uh, so have good inventory, want upgrades. So it may not always be cards, especially for a game like CSGO, a lot of people are looking for some of the in-game inventory stuff. But that's how you can look for other active trades uh, for people you don't necessarily have on your friends list. And then you can also click search the market. And for games like CSGO that are widely popular and have been out for quite some time, there are a lot of cards available, and I think 5 cents is the cheapest I've ever seen cards. So games like this, games like Dota 2, uh, games like Binding of Isaac that get played a lot, and there are a lot of cards available out there, uh, they run pretty cheap. So you can just buy them with your Steam wallet. Uh, if you look up here, I have 41 cents in my Steam wallet right now. Um, I got that by putting some actual money into there and also selling stuff that I had on Steam. So you click on buy and it'll have all the stuff pre-populated for you. It automatically goes for the cheapest item and then you just have to click that you agree to the terms of use and you place order and success. There we go. So let's go view item in inventory. So we should now have five of five cards for CSGO that we need to craft a badge. So we click view badge process, progress again, and there you go. Next badge level ready to craft, and we can click craft badge. Now when you craft them, it will actually consume these cards, so they will no longer be in your inventory, and they will no longer be in Steam either. They don't just like go back into the pool, they're gone, they get consumed. And that's where the booster packs come in. They have to give out booster packs every once in a while to keep enough cards in circulation after people consume them to craft badges and stuff like that. So, let's go ahead and click craft badge. And you get this cool little animation. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but it says you have a new item in your inventory and it pops up there as well. So there you have it. We got the brass recruit now. And we also get a background, an emoticon, and then some kind of randomly generated uh, coupon. So I got 75% off of Postal 2. At first I thought that said Portal 2 and I got excited. But I've gotten like 30% off coupons. I've got 90% off coupons for certain games. Uh, so it's I think it's fairly random. But uh, in general, they seem like they're pretty good discounts. So let's go view my inventory. What can we do with this crap we just got? So, well, first off, let's check out Postal 2. So when you click on your coupons here, you can go to View Applicable Games, so you can view the game in the store. Uh, so it's 9 bucks normally, and I have a 70% off coupon. That's pretty cool. Uh, so what, what is this game all about? Live a week in the life of the Postal Dude, a hapless everyman just trying to... <laughs> I have no idea what this game is. I don't know if I'll buy it or not. But see, when I have a really good coupon like that, I tend to just buy the game anyway, because it might be a buck or two, and then I can use that game for trading if I don't intend to actually play it. So, okay, I'm going back to my inventory. So we also got a background and an emoticon. So like the emoticon here, I can now use this in chats and stuff. CSGO helmet, uh, which, you know, take it or leave it. There's, there's a couple fun ones I enjoy. Happy Cthulhu, personally. I use that when I'm typing in uh, in Steam here. And then these are the backgrounds. So you can actually like download them. You can click view full size and then you can download them and use them on your desktop. But uh, what you... Oh, I have two of those, so I'm going to trade those. <laughs> going to trade one of them. Uh, what they're meant to do, though, is you can go back to your profile and you can use them here. That's what I didn't realize at first. So you can click Edit Profile, and then you can choose uh, what background to use. So I'm using one from The Binding of Isaac. And here we have our Level 2 badge. And I think the last thing I want to talk about is your Steam level. So I'm currently level 19. If we go to here and then go to Badges, we can see our progress to the next level. So I need 78 XP to reach level 20. And that, the levels aren't all that useful unless you want to do a lot of the badge crafting and stuff like that. Basically, when you hit certain levels, you unlock more slots in your friends list. So uh, it's something I had no idea about beforehand is you have a set amount of slots available to add friends. Uh, and as you reach more levels, you get like plus five slots 
I think it's every five levels or something like that. Uh, but the more important part, for me at least, is as you hit different level landmarks, you get to, you, you get a higher chance of receiving booster packs. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, it has a breakdown right here. So at level 10, you have a plus 20% increase in your drop rate. And I'm just about to hit level 20, and then I'm going to get a plus 40% increase to your drop rate. Uh, and then you can go 60, 80, and 100 as you level up more and more. So the higher level you get, the greater chance you have of getting those booster packs to complete more badges, to gain more XP, to level up higher, and the rich get richer, as you can tell. So that's what I'm in it for. So I am 78 XP short. I can either purchase more games to get a little XP, or I can craft more badges. So as soon as I craft another badge, I will get up to level 20, and I'll have a plus 40% chance of getting those random booster uh, drops. Uh, you can also get foil cards, which are rarer. So like for Squishy the Suicidal Pig here, I got this during an actual card drop, like as I was playing the game. I got a regular ostrich, and then I got this one as well. And those will go towards... Uh, oh, hey guy. Those will go towards a foil badge, which is supposed to be more rare. So it's, it's kind of like if you ever got real card decks uh, of some kind of trading game when you were a kid or something like that, sometimes there'd be those rare cards in there, which is kind of cool. So uh, when you click here, when you're going to your badges, it not only shows you your level, your XP, and your progress bar and everything, but you can uh, sort your different games by, like, if, it, if the badge is in progress, if it's been completed, the rarity of it, that sort of thing. And then it'll show you right here if you have card drops for that game or not. So for They Breathe, I have two cards, I have two card drops remaining, and I need a total of seven to craft this badge. And then it'll show you the badge on the left-hand side there as well. So it's laid out pretty nicely. And then, uh, so I have one card drop remaining for CSGO still, yada yada, so on and so forth. Uh, some games have multiple badges you can get, like we just saw with CSGO. Some games do not, I don't think. So like once you, yeah, so like for Faster Than Light, it only had a level 1 badge. Same with Bit Trip Runner or Walking Dead, yeah, so on and so forth. But a lot of them have multiple levels, I think up to level 5 for a badge. So you get 100 XP each time you level up that badge. So I hope you found this interesting and or useful. A number of people I talked to about this stuff had no idea all this was going on. It's kind of like a meta game within Steam. Um, I'm kind of a collector type person by nature, so once I found this stuff out, I got really into it because I find it enjoyable. Um, oh, one other thing before I go, I want to mention, you do also unlock uh, showcases when you level up. So I chose to have an achievement showcase, and it'll show my rarest achievements. So like for teamwork, 0.77% of players have that achievement for Spelunky. And it'll show you how many achievements, how many perfect games you have, where you got every achievement, and then your average completion rate for games. Uh, and you, you have other showcases you can choose from too, like bad showcases, or I think favorite game showcases. Uh, just, just a little something you can do with your profile. So there you have it. Now you know how to get cards, what to do with them, how to craft badges, and how to use the stuff you get from crafting badges, like coupons and backgrounds and so on and so forth. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you found it useful, please leave a like and or subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a ton, and uh, I will see you guys again later. Thanks for watching.